Hello, hello. This is Squidman. Splatoon 3 is coming! If you're anything like me, you're counting down every day, hour, and minute until this game's so radical it was released in a skate park on a Disney Channel show. Finally releases. One of the most important decisions for anyone wanting to enjoy the game is what weapon class to main. All of this, of course, because it's on Nintendo's website and is a huge part of Nintendo's promotional material for the game. So this video is meant to help you decide your your weapon to main is Platoon 3 for the Nintendo Switch. Since we don't know many details on the tactical advantage of each weapon class and their kit, this video is going to focus more on your personality and its meme potential. The shooters. Shooters are medium range rapid fire weapons that are versatile and can be used in almost any situation. These pewter pewter pewers have the largest number of weapons available in the game and each weapon can be significantly different to those who like star signs. The shooters are best fit for Ares. If you're into Pokemon, normal and electric type users are the best match. For my Animal Crossing friends who like Raymond or Norma, then please choose Shooters. Or Uzi, because Uzi be packing an Uzi going kew, 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 kew. The Blasters. Blasters are weapons that excel in properly ranged combat. Shots from Blasters emit a compact ink ball that explodes shortly thereafter. Properly placed shots or two from the Blasters are sufficient to eliminate nearby enemies. Big Blastic star sign would be the Capricorn. As for Pokemon, it matches Psychic and Fighting types the best. And Villagers BAM! Because BAM BAM BAM! The Chargers. The Charger is a slow, loud, loud range weapon. Perfect for defeating players from a distance. Each shot can be charged, and when fully charged, you can kill an enemy player with a single hit. Some Chargers have a scope that maintains a magnified view for accurate aiming when fully charged, but with the trade-off of a narrowed field of vision. Aquarius signs would be best equipped to use Chargers. If you like flying or dark type, Chargers are thing. If you're into grass types, you're a bamboozler bee! And villagers. Cad, Drift, and Ribot. The Rollers. Rollers are short to medium range weapons that are not ideal for covering areas with ink. Rollers leave ink trails when running and are powerful in close range combat when repelling other cephalopods or rickrolling other enemies. For star signs, kiss, kiss. For Pokemon, ground and water type because Piplop for Splatoon, please. Animal Crossing has a clear roller match. Roll the roller. Obviously, the brushes. Brushes are an official subclass of rollers that excel in short range combat in speed. Brushes leave a thin trail of ink as the player runs and can quickly fuck it, fuck, 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 to cover ink over turf and splat enemy players. Libra would be the star sign that chooses the brushes and normal and fairy type Pokemon users would also choose brushes. For the special characters Animal Crossing if you're into flick and red then you would choose the brush for Splatoon 3. The Sloshers. Sloshers are weapons that are great for taking down your enemies. These weapons are in the shape of a bucket and are used by throwing large amounts of ink in an arc. By adjusting the angle you can use these weapons to attack enemies at high positions on the other side of a wall. Our star sign Sagittarius be sloshing. Pokemon gotta be the inseparable pair of poison and bug. For Animal Crossing villagers catch up and fauna appreciators would use the buckets. The Splatlings. Splatlings are mid to long range weapons that are capable of firing ink at an alarming rate in bursts similar to the style of a m -m 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 mini gun. Much like the Charger class of weapons, to execute these weapons higher potential, they must be charged. Splatlings, however, actually charge twice. The first charge determines the range of the weapon's fire, and the second, faster charge determines how long the weapon fires. Our big bad Taurus would have the big bad Splatlings. And for Pokemon, it would be steel and rock because they are heavy. Splatlings are big, bad, and bougie, just like Marshall. The Duelies. Duelies are a paired set of ink guns that give their user the ability to dodge, dodge, dodge roll. After a dodge, dodge, dodge roll, the two Duelies are held together by the player, enhancing their performance in various ways depending on the Duelie. For star sign friends, the Gemini would be the best fit for the Duelies, and for my Pokemon pals, hit them with the duality of ice and fire. Sasha and Shino, the new duo for Duelies. The Brellas. Brellas are sh sh shotguns with a deployable shield. Depending on the Brella model, the shield can be held in front of the user or launched forward. For star signs, Virgo will come to our shielding service, and the Pokemon types Ghost and Dragon help shield you from defeat. For my Doom players out there, it's gotta be Isabel because she packing that shotgun. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Let's play some Doom. 
The tri stringer. The tri stringer? Tri stringer. Also known as the bow. Next up, we've obtained imagery of a new class of weapon known as the stringer. It seems stringers can fire horizontally or vertically depending on whether they're fired while standing or jumping. Either way, a simple press of the ZR is all it takes to start splatting. For our regal Leos, they'll steal the newest weapon type and legendary and G Max Pokemon only for the new and improved tri stringer. For my Animal Crossing pals, gotta be sure, be sure, be sure. Thanks for watching.